Hello, welcome everybody. morning, everybody. This is the Tez. Now, this is a video about a few uh, myths uh, about autism and Asperger's syndrome, um, especially Asperger's syndrome, that I just want to clear up. Now, to start off with, the first, the first one. <clears throat> Autistic and Asperger people do not have empathy. That is utter rubbish. <clears throat> but let's be um, clear. There are uh, two types of empathy, so it's half true, right? Autistic people are known for what you call the feeling side of empathy. Uh, and But lack the other side of empathy called the cognitive empathy. In fact, uh, I'll go into this point in a moment, but psychopaths have the complete uh, switch around, of which I will go into in a minute. Uh, <clears throat> when it com comes to empathy, uh, a, or us as Asperger's can indeed uh, feel people's uh, pain. <clears throat> what it comes down to though is we are totally unaware of real of realizing what causes the pain i will give you an example i can say something that i may not think is going to hurt someone's feelings but it hurts their feelings once i realize their feeling they're upset about it then the empathy kicks in and therefore um, I feel bad because, and feel that person's pain because I've upset them. But also, the feeling empathy is like watching certain movies where I see people suffering and in pain. That as well. That's uh, another thing. <clears throat> Number two. Autism and Asperger's are the same. They are similar in uh, most respects. Um, Asperger's is more the high functioning side, although you do get high functional autistics. However, according to my own research, um, people with Asperger's are, simply put, more, um, more intelligent, essentially. Um, and also have got better uh, vocabularies and better verbal skills. Right, that's pretty much uh, the difference. <clears throat> the other other one, and I've lost my thought there. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, number three. Autistic people and Asperger people are not psychopaths, right? We are not, um, whilst every single one of them are individuals, we are not uh, to be classified as dangerous, um, evil, psychopathic people. Put simply, um, to call someone um, one, um, with autism a, a psychopath is pretty much like say. Uh, calling a Manchester United fan a Liverpool fan. They are two complete opposites. The sun and the moon. It's that, it's that polar opposite. Auti autistic people have feeling empathy, but no cognitive empathy. Psychopaths have cognitive empathy, but no feeling empathy. Right. Number four. Uh, the super genius syndrome. There is a common misconception that is not helped by the media as such that people with autism and Asperger's have these, this super genius level ability where they can uh, be brilliant mathematicians, etc, etc. Uh, a fine example of that is the film Rain Man 
uh, where he can, he's very good with numbers, essentially. What you have to understand is every person with autism and Asperger's are different. However, that said, and a per I know from experience that a person with Asperger's does ha um, have knowledge of their favourite subjects and can learn an extensive amount. All there is to know about a certain subject, per se, ask me anything about Star Wars and I will tell you. There's uh, very little I don't know about Star, Star Wars. <clears throat> so there's those kind of elements that come into play. It is stupid and it is ignorant to th say that a person is automatically a genius because they've got Asperger's syndrome or autism. That um, people with Asperger's are just like are just people like everybody else. Um, a lot, the great deal of them do not have the special ability, the special math um, math geniuses or. Um, or psych, got psychic abilities or or uh, special powers. I wish we did, but um, we clearly don't. There are there are what you call um, individuals that have got the, what you call the savant savant syndrome, and that is all to do with the what they call the cliche special ability thing. <clears throat> However, for uh, most people with on the autism spectrum. That's simply not true. <clears throat> also, myth number five, autistic people and Asperger's are not stupid. Um, <clears throat> we might be slow socially, yeah? So we might not be on the uptake on the social side of things. Our brains are not geared uh, to be sociable, put simply, right? But... Uh, in my own experience, you can take up what you call the back door route. In other words, you learn. Uh, I'm using my brain to socialize. Um, I'm using my intelligence to learn how to socialize, but not intuitively. So I'm doing it in such a way of which I have learnt, uh, learnt those skills. So in other words... Body language can be likened to a foreign language, as in to be learning it. So, people with with I know, I'm from experience. People with Asperger's can learn social skills. I can't really speak for people that are on the um, fully are autistic because I don't actually know that many people with autism um, or their experiences with it. So there's that. <clears throat> All in all, in all uh, I would just conclude the video by saying all you have to do is treat people with the autism and Asperger's as people. They are not, they are virtually the same as you, have got abilities and gifts that uh, you may not understand, and just treat them as you would anybody else. It's that simple. I'm signing off. Uh, goodbye. And. Um, Cheers.